What's up guys, Dubai here and welcome to, as you can tell by the title today, we are looking at some more FIFA 15 official ratings reveals. As you've seen on my channel for the last three days, we have been counting down the top 50 rated players on FIFA 15's Ultimate Team. So if you have missed any of the previous videos, I do recommend going and checking them out so that you are in it with the know of all what the player ratings are. So starting today then with number 20 spots, we do have Vincent Company at Manchester City. He is going to be an 80 six rated centre back this year which is exactly the same as he was on FIFA last year there isn't too much really to talk about him to start off the video with uh, because looking at his stats on his card a lot of them are really really similar um, to that of uh, his version on FIFA 14 next then we do have Lewandowski who's recently transferred to Bayern Munich he is an 87 rated striker this time round on FIFA 15 if you remember back on FIFA 14 he was an 86 so he has jumped up one one rating overall, which is absolutely awesome. The Bundesliga squads you're going to be able to make on FIFA 15, especially with the strikers and the defensive they do have, is it's going to be absolutely insane. Next then we do have Luka Modric at Real Madrid. He has been upgraded by two overall stats. Last year he was only an 85 rated midfielder. This time round, finally EA, I know I'm not meant to be saying opinions on this, but I've always thought he's been a better striker than 85 and I always think he's probably one of the most underrated midfielders there is in football. So yeah, he's been upgraded by two overall. Next then we do have David Silva from Manchester City, a lot of City players in today's video. He is an 87 rated player. He has taken a downgrade of minus one, unfortunately. An interesting little thing about his card, he has got a position change last year. He was a midfielder. You could change him to whatever you wanted to. This time, he is a left midfielder, uh, which means it might ruin him because he has got he is ridiculously slow. But anyway, next then, we have got Thiago Silva, 87 rated centre-back from PSG. Obviously, David Luiz is there, but we don't know what rating he is. However, Silva has got an 87 rating, uh, just like he did on FIFA 14. Unfortunately, there is nothing too much changed about him. However, his physical and his defending are ridiculously high. 90 defending and 80 physical. He is going to be an absolute monster. Next then, we do have Sergio Ramos from Real Madrid. 87 rated centre-back this time round, which is an upgrade of plus one. He was only an 86 rated centre-back and probably one of the better uh, centre-backs in the game in FIFA 14. His pace has taken a tiny, tiny, tiny downgrade, but overall his card has gone up by one to 87. Next then, we have Gareth Bale at uh, Real Madrid again. 87 right midfielder this time round on uh, on FIFA last time uh, last year beg your pardon on FIFA 14 when he had literally just transferred to Real Madrid uh, EA actually released his normal card as a centre forward they've changed it back to what he uh, w well he's changed it to a right midfielder this time so you can have him as a right winger right forward anything like that on the right hand side of the pitch not a midfielder next then we do have Lam another position change coming in with him his overall has stayed pretty much exact well his overall has stayed exactly the same at an 87 rating um, and his, his stats on the card are pretty identical to as they were the only thing that has changed with Philip Lahm is his position he is no longer a right back and his standard card is going to come as a centre defensive midfielder next then we do have Falcao who has recently transferred to Manchester United he has taken a downgrade of minus two which uh, is unfortunate uh, but he has had a couple of injuries recently so he is an 88 opposed to a 90 rated striker which he was on FIFA for 14 uh, so yeah no more 90 rating for Falcao finally then we have Robin Van Persie so the two highest rated players in today's video are both Manchester United players Van Persie is an 88 rated overall player on this year's FIFA and FIFA 15 last year if you remember he was an 89 uh, so just like a couple of the other players that we have seen in today's video he has taken a downgrade of minus one but anyway that is going to wrap up the video they are the positions number 20 down to number 11 tomorrow i'll be posting a video with the top 10 highest rated players on fifa 15 let me know in the comments who do you think are going to be in the top 10 and if there are any ratings or changes to players that you have seen in this video which you think uh, are surprising or don't deserve it then please do let me know in the comments because I'm always really interested to hear what you guys have to say about the ratings that EA have given the players this year on FIFA 15. And until my next one, I'll be speaking to you guys later. Take care.